Oh, I tech crowd here again. Yeah. Oh, we've um, got a couple of dogs, and uh, I'd like to keep an eye on what they're doing from time to time. So um, I started looking around for some surveillance cameras and selected this package because I can. So I could do an unboxing, and um, these are. Uh, Two directional, so one should be able to actually um, talk through these mics or through the. And then, I'll, since we have more than one area we want to monitor, then I took another one. So it's going to also be interesting to see if you have more than one, how flexible it is to to, um, to use. So let's just switch over. So. So can we do an unboxing of this one? <sighs> Always close up the tape, please. actually these weren't that um, terribly cheap none of, none of these this is full HD now that is that's some hefty steel doesn't feel like aluminium that's also very heavy I wonder if it is it's steel Let's see what it comes with that. Paper. What it comes with. My phone starts. Oh, oh, oh. Screw. Okay. Ah, a mounting plate. So you can actually. Looks like you could put it on a wall. Well, now that might actually be useful. And then we have the instructions. Safety stuff. So, uh, general public license, something, whatever, useless. Some other two flaps of useless information. Safety information. Need it. Uh -huh. Quick installation guide. Papa, what can so that, that's pretty much well, this. Still one more. Okay, so that's just two. This is a quick, a quick, <laughs> a quick version of the installation. <laughs> Download the app, connect the power, connect to the. Okay, we'll see if that actually works. So, um, download Casa. So I'll be back after I've done the basic connection. I would just like to call it. It's got a nice long USB cable. Okay, and it looks like um, in the instructions it says to um, download Casa for mobile, but there isn't such an application. So it seems like it's it means this application. 
because of smart. So I've got the application installed and then you need to create an account. So I'll go do that. Okay, it's the account created. Let's see what we can. So then the empty app looks the empty app list looks like that. See what happens if I try and search for something. Camera. Okay. Camera menu. Click on the learn more and see. No, it just takes to a website. To the mist, I've got a plus to have to prep. Uh, okay, and then it's like add device. Cameras. Oh, wait, going too fast in the menus. Okay, so we take. Let's see if I can make this be seen better. So I'll take Plus, and it says okay. I don't know what this group is, but and device, and then it'll ask okay, what category of a device? Say camera, and then it says, and then we can select Casa Cam, it should be the correct camera. Power up your camera. Strong Wi Fi signal. Let me see here. Okay, then you're supposed to look at the LED on the camera. It's over here. And then it should be blinking orange green, and it is. So, orange and green. Okay, now we need to go to switch over to the <coughs> Casa Cams network. Let's see here. Mm, it's just to go to the. Yeah, it will probably work. It'll be the same on Android when I start. So I'll just switch the Wi Fi network from my current one to the. Oh, it seems to have a Casa Cam network. Okay, let's do that. might take a few minutes to establish a connection. So if it takes more than no. So choose a network. We found the following Wi-Fi next to your camera. So then probably you get to choose what network you want to attach the camera to. That will just be my standard. And it wants me to put in the password for the network. Then I will just do that. Okay, it's connecting. Connecting to the assigned network. Let's see how it works. It might take a few minutes. OK. 
Okay, it seems to have found something. It wants me to give it a name. We can try that for a while. Adjust it later. Okay. It's just saying that it's complete. You can actually mount it on the wall. So let's get started then. Whoa. Hmm. Okay, now it's going to show. Okay, get started means to show it, show how to get it mounted on the wall, but I think that's easy to three screws on a plate. No big deal there. Okay, no thanks. Congratulations. So Okay, so sounds good. Okay, now we have Firmware update. Okay. <laughs> it's going to install new firmware. Okay, back when it's done. So, I really want to see that. See if we have a broken device. Probably make a separate video about this um, extra source. Let's see if that will work. Oh, I want to see the video. Oh. Oh. Now we're getting some circulating sound because it's got a mic in it. Oh, mute the mic. Yeah. So. Hello. 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 <laughs> that is a delay. Oops, now it's going to go circulating. That's the circulating. That's the Okay, how do I turn off the mic? Okay, how do I turn off the mic? Okay, that's bad. Why can't I turn the mic off? Okay, there's still something to learn here. Okay, is it automatically activated? Ah, oh, this is really a bit... Oh, wait, I can show this one. That's <laughs> bad. Not very good. Oh, it's got a bit of a delay. Stuff I don't understand. How long has it stopped now? No, it's still circulating. So what's the, what's the purpose of the brick? Like, no, it doesn't do anything. Does it pling? It does it create the pling noise then? Seven twenty. 
best quality, of course. So it was set on 720 from the options. So let's see now if this starts to work. Hmm. Oh, look, I can get it full screen. Live. I still don't really understand this too too well, but I think I'll probably have to move it into another location. And see, see how it works. Okay, I figured out how this mold. Uh, it's a bit not very intuitive to a certain extent, but you press this one down, and then you talk, and then you let it go, and you can't actually hear your own voice if you have the device right next to it, because it somehow they seem to you cancels out the sound um, in a weird way. So there's no real delay between when, when you're talking directly to the device. So I actually thought it wasn't working when I started testing it. But now I moved it into another room. Then 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 my you know, my wife said that oh, I can hear you. Uh, what? <laughs> well, that was a bit of a surprise. So anyway it looks like the basics are are working and um, of course picture qualities but I mean this this is pretty good full HD I okay 60 Hertz yeah probably <laughs> but I mean the uh, and the thing is that the what, what is great is the one can actually we've got a dog here yes dog. you can um, this is really cool you can zoom in so you can actually have a like a control over the specific animal you're tracking if it's a, like it goes in full picture, it's it's too small to see the dog really. But if you can zoom into where the dog is, you can still see if it's sleeping, which is a fantastic thing. Okay, so now I'm going to um, unpack the other one and connect it in and um, see register it and um, see if I, see if it works. Yeah, if you think the picture's crooked, that's because you can actually adjust the angle for the camera. <laughs> I think you can do it in software also a bit to configure it. But basically, you can just physically yeah, rotate the camera so it ends up being in the correct position. Yeah, once the other camera also wants to have firmware updates. But otherwise, the setup procedure went very smoothly. Actually, I didn't get the um, error that I got with the first one, which also just disappeared. So this one went just directly through. Okay, that's the update done. Uh, second one. Let's see if we can premium trial again. The, I don't know. I'll take this premium trial some other time. Let's see, can I skip through that? Exit. And then we have the second camera. So, let's take that one. Oh, it's just looking at me. Oh, it's just looking at me. Yes. Just, just looking at me. <laughs> oh, it's uh, circulating. So. Okay, but well that looks good. So I can go put that in its correct place. Okay, now we've got um, two cameras working. And we can actually have a look at where our dogs are sleeping. Try and get a good picture. Huge <laughs> dog. Maybe one of, one of our dogs. So he's still asleep. And the motion detection works very well. So if those guys move, then uh, you get a message. And it says motion detected, and then in the you have this activity list here. So you can get the, actually it um, records a. Wait, just scroll down to the latest. It um, records a short bit of the video, but you can also just click directly to go camera live on where it detected um, motion. So I think that's actually very good. Okay, then um, the 
honest to say. So far, very happy. And the bi-directional voice kind of works. And there's the... I also bought an extra one for outside use. So those two that I showed you, they're not... They can't be stilled out in the rain, but this one is actually one that one can put out in the rain. Plus this has a, um, a siren in it. So let's we'll open this one. Get them all done and connect it in. Sadly, for integrity and safety reasons, I will not be showing where this camera will be installed. Or the video that it takes. I just want to open this one. Hey, come on, out you come. cameras are quite heavy physically so not complete plastic they're not like plastic junk oh, okay just said there wasn't plastic junk then so oh god that actually it's 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 hard to communicate weight but i mean this this is a clump even if it's like plastic on the outside but really now i think they put a quite a lot of camera tech into those into these units also cool. Is this will this come out? Okay, here we have power supply. We'll also connect this to the wall. So, yeah, there you can see the screws, so then you have to take that base off, flick it out, I suppose. And this one has a built-in siren. Okay. Heavy packing boxes. So, put the cover off. And then I will just go ahead and configure this one in also. Yeah, I was thinking I can install this inside um, first, so I can demo it working in there. And I'll move it out later. Okay, back after a little bit of testing. I have bad news. I to found out that um, yeah, this is not working at all. Well, actually, that's not true because um, you know you're supposed to use your smartphone to configure it, and then you go to the face where you assign the wireless network ad, um, password to this device so it can access the network. Then it um, switches to blinking red, and um, I've tried different locations, and then you can reset it by pressing a reset button for three seconds. So that, that's that's been it's been recycled several times, and I've tried two different iPhones, uh, a new power supply, uh, another USB power supply, on um, several different locations, always the same. So it's when you get to the phase of assigning the um, your local area or what your wireless LAN um, password, then it just locks up and then it can't find it anymore. And this device blinks red, and then it it's not found by the application. So anyway, this is going to go back to the store, so I don't know, 
maybe a one-off problem but um, I don't I don't know. have to think if I'm gonna buy any more of those anyway if you um, like this video then consider subscribing uh, want to get some alerts for some new videos press the bell and um, yeah see you in the next one